Alright guys, so today I will be showing you a bunch of different industry laws. They will be the most fundamental laws that you need to solve basically any industry problem. So firstly, let's talk about what industry is. So say for example, we have 2 to the power 5. This number 2 here for the base and the 5 here is an industry or index. And what this basically means is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times. So we have rule 1, any number raised to the power 0 automatically equals 1. There's only one exception which is 0 raised to the power 0 is undefined. So we have a number, we'll just call a number x, raised to the power 0 equals 1, except for 0. Okay, rule 2, any number raised to a negative in the C, call it the negative indice n what you do you just put 1 over the number so say it was 2 on 2 to the power of negative 3 it would be 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3 without the negative sign on the denominator okay so rule 3 you have a number x raised to the power n and you multiply that by x to the power m so remember x is the base n and m are indices what do you do x to n plus m so when you multiply two bases the same and the indices are different you just add the indices so for example 2 to the 3 times 2 to the 4 this would be the same as 2 to the power 7 plus 4 equals 7 and if you enter that into the calculator both sides would be the same number rule 4 so Similar to multiplication, x to the n divided by x to the m is just uh, x, and instead of adding them this time, you do negative, so n minus m. So if we use this example here, 2 to the 3 divided by 2 to the 4 would equal to 2 to the negative 1. And remember, negative 1 from rule 2 is just the same thing as 1 half. That would actually equal one half. And you can test that two to the power three divided by two to the power four is the same as half as well. So we've got two more rules, guys. So rule five. If you have x to the power n inside a bracket raised to the power m, it will be the same as x n times m. So what this is basically saying is if you have two to the power three and you raise that to the power four. This would be the same as 2 to the power 3 times 4, which is 12. And again, you can verify this in your calculator. And our last law, rule, rule 6. If you have x n divided by m, this equals to x square root, and you bring the n inside and the m outside. So using an example, 2 to the power 3 divided by 4, we would have square root 2 the power of 3 and born outside.